1,000 miles correct to the nearest 100 miles means the scale is going up in hundreds. Okay, so 1,000 is what it's rounded to. So the next measurement of the scale is 1,100. The one before it will be 900, which means then the greatest and least are going to be there. And it's the greatest it could be. It's halfway between these measurements. Okay, so there, so then it rounds down. So that would be 1,050. And the least there between these two measurements so that it would round up to a thousand so that'll be 950. so it's good to show this because you know the examiner can see sight of these numbers you're going to pick up marks even if you don't finish off the question um so the same here for 26 gallons now this is to the nearest gallons so that's going up in ones so then the least then will be there which will be between 25 and 26 so it's 25.5 so it rounds up the greatest then is here so it could be 26.5 is the greatest, so that it actually runs down to 26. Now, to get the um, least and greatest possible values for the number of miles travelled per gallon, we're actually going to need to divide this, yeah? And the clue is here, isn't it? Because it says number of miles travelled per gallon. So the per always means divide, right? So we're going to divide the number of miles by the amount of gallons. So to get the greatest, I always like to start with the greatest. We need to start off with the number of miles. We need to start off with the biggest number of miles. Okay, so to get the greatest possible amount, let's start with the biggest number of miles, which is 1,050, and divide it then by the least amount um, of gallons of petrol, right? So 25.5. Okay, so always the greatest, to get the greatest, you've got to do the greatest divide by the least. So if I do that, I get 41.2 when I round it to one decimal place. So it's the greatest, is going to be 41.2 miles per gallon. So then let's think of the least possible miles per gallon. Well, you're going to look then at the least amount of miles covered, which is 950. Divide them by the greatest um, amount of gallons of petrol used, which will be 26.5. So to get the least, you've got to do the least divided by the greatest. And we get 35.8.